Holy shit, bro. I'm recording a video right now, and I'm not streaming. That's probably, like, the dumbest way I've ever started a video. Dude, I am on my fucking grind right now. Like, literally editing, recording, streaming. You fucking name it, bro. I'm on my grind. Oh, phase member? Holy shit, no way. What am I what am I here to talk about? Okay, you should already know. Uh, you should already know, like I literally mean Classic you explosion. should already know what I'm about to talk about today. Okay. So it's been It's been like around about uh two, three months Contact. since I finished Bunny Girl Senpai. And it's kind of sad because it's sad because who would have thought that such an anime such a beautiful anime even existed who would have thought that there was an anime out there that that wasn't shonen that i would just absolutely love. i remember i saw a tiktok and it just describes me so perfectly it, so the tiktok basically said um what did what the fuck did it say it says something like me when i first started watching anime and it's just listing a bunch of shonen anime and then it's me after watching bunny girl senpai i actually I, I don't really remember how the tiktok went but that's besides the points okay we are here today to talk about the most amazing anime known to mankind and that is bunny girl senpai no matter what, I always told myself that I would never, ever watch something that wasn't shounen. I told myself, I repeated it to myself, and then boom, I ended up watching like so many animes that are not fucking shounen. I watched Bunny Girl Senpai, A Darling in the Franks. Fuck, what else did I watch? Like, my brain is going dead right now. I watched the uh, the Chuni one. I think that's what it's called, like Chuni something. You know, the one about the girl who, you know, like the one about the girl who has to, like the eye patch. There's definitely more, but I just cannot think of it. But Bunny Girl Senpai takes the cake out of every, every single anime that's not shown in that I've seen. I never understood why people would, would say they have crushes on anime characters. Never understood it. Until, until I watched it. Until I watched Bunny Girl Senpai, I finally understood. I finally understood and I and I finally had my first crush. Like imagine staying up till four in the morning watching Bunny Girl Senpai. Like I can relate, because I did that shit. And I don't regret a single thing. No, bro, come on, I choked. The crazy part was that I watched the first episode and I was just, I was instantly hooked. And typically, like, I don't get instantly hooked on the first episodes whenever I watch an anime. I watch the first episode and I'm like, fuck, I don't know if I want to watch this anime or not. I debate for like between a couple minutes to a couple days and then I continue watching it. But this time, I watched the first episode and I was like, fuck, I need to watch more. And what did I do? Stay up till 4 a.m., watched all 12 episodes, okay? Woke up the next day, learned that there was a movie, watched the movie. <laughs> Not only that, but you already know, I had to put her as my lock screen, okay? My goal in life is to find a girl like that. And that is on God. So the anime follows, um... No, I no idea what the uh, what the characters' names are, so I might have to search them up real quick. So the story starts off with with Sakuta run walking into the library, and he ran into Mia, and she was in her bunny girl senpai costume or whatever. And the weird thing was that nobody could see her but Sakuta. And keep in mind, they were in a public library. So later on in the story, you learn that, that Mia is basically fading away from people's memories. No matter where they go, no matter how far they go, people do not remember her or recognize her. Which is quite sad, because not even, not even her own mother recognizes her. They come to realize that the reason for it is whenever you fall asleep. They come to realize that whenever you fall asleep, 
you're you're basically not conscious, right? So you end up forgetting about her. She basically fades away. And the story basically calls whatever this phenomenon is happening pubescent syndrome, puberty syndrome. I I don't really know something along those lines. But whatever the but the thing that I just described that was happening to Mia, um, that's just one of uh, five puberty syndromes that that you that the main character basically has to um figure out or come or like solve throughout the uh throughout the 12 episodes jesus christ like that guy right there just got like literally fucked like i actually fucked him but fuck man like the anime was so fucking good if you haven't it if you haven't watched Bunny Girl Senpai, or if you're planning on watching Bunny Girl Senpai, or if you have Bunny Girl Senpai up next on your list, first off, you need to watch it. Second off, you need to stop watching what you're watching right now and go watch Bunny Girl Senpai. It is honestly so fucking good. Like, I cannot explain to you how good it is and I, I know at this point i'm basically sucking bunny girl senpai's dick but but seriously well i don't really have anything else to say i pretty much already said everything that i had to say like man bunny girl senpai is literally my future fucking wife don't care what anybody fucking says I will 3D- I'll, I'm gonna 3D print this bitch, okay? Put her- give her a microchip, put her in a fucking robot, alright? Artificial intelligence, and she's gonna become my wife, just like that. 